Timtos, one of the biggest exhibitions in the world. But why would you visit? Let's go and find out. and Chips. Might as well start big. Look at this machine here, NF from Vision Wide. Huge, huge table in there. This one is, let me just double check, three meters, but will go up to 10 meters on the bridge style. So the table is moving, but they go even bigger with a gantry style. We'll see a picture of that in a minute. 60 meters, yep, 60 meters. What they've also done is on this machine, upgraded the RAM, so eight touch points, box guideway, two ball screws. So essentially you are getting some super rigid cutting on this machine, it's five or five face machining, not five axis machining, so slightly different. Come round here, next machine. So we've done a bit of milling. You can see the gantry style machine there, just a picture of it on the on the wall up there. So up to 60 meters. Next one, ASM, bit of turning, but not just turning, turning, milling, and grinding as an option. You can see one of the components in there, so a bit of gear cutting, aerospace, a bit of hydraulics, big casings can be machined in here. But you're thinking, how big is that table? That one is 1.5. It will go up to five meters in diameter, but not only that, you want to make some money out of these machines, obviously big investments. You want to keep that spindle turning. So what you do, where I'm standing, an APC pallet changer, not just one though, another option, it's five pallet changers. So really versatile, big, big machining. We might as well keep the theme going, keeping it big. Look at that casting. You are doing super big depths of cut. You've got your ball screw there as well, but also linear guideways here. So you're combining rigidity with fast, nimble, accurate machining. But what type of machining are we getting? Let's go and have a little reveal, shall we? Hello, Artemis. Making friends all around the world here. So look at this, not that so much. Look at that for a table up there. Five axis machining, absolute beast of a machine. So they're doing electric vehicles, aerospace as examples. This is your MH5XB. How big is this table? 1.3 meter, but they will go up to a huge whopping five axis machining, 1.6 meters. Now we're going a little bit smaller, so get your camera in here, and they've let me loose on this machine, so hopefully I don't break it. Get that started. Oh, look at that, see, I'm a proper engineer now. But fast hole drilling, this will go from 0.2 to 3 mil, so some super small parts. Great for your aerospace, your semiconductors, and then look, I've just got this up on the screen. You missed that, Joe, what sort of carrot man are you? So you can have a look around. No, it's, there we go, look, I'm getting, I'm getting heckled in the back there, and so you can see the part there going through there. Absolutely brilliant. So up in this tube here, 50, 50, 50 um, tools in there, drills in there, and then in here, you've got 14 carousels. So those who've got a mass based degree can work out that's 800. Joe's just rolled his eyeballs. We all know that's only 700. Joking, joking. And here, I've learned some more today. Ablation, in there, you've got a high powered laser. Hopefully, you can see it sparking. Now, that will do microseconds, nanoseconds, and femtoseconds. So you have to Google that. That's a short pulse of a laser melting away to make components like that for aerospace. And here's one I prepared earlier. Look at that. How's that? I'm a proper engineer. What do you reckon? Come on, Joe, get your camera in there. Uh, Joe, I'm trying to do a swarf of chips and you're being disturbed by that. Come back to me. We need to be filming me and the Axon machine. This is the G9. Great, great machine. Absolutely fantastic. I've done a full video on it. Couldn't stop smiling. There's loads of going on about this, but big working envelope in there. But you've got the twin knuckle. Both sides are driven, so super dynamic, super fast, making big depths of cut when required because you've got a HSK 100, so you can do small tools or big tools. Loads and loads of flexibility, and not only that, look at this, like a well-trained engineer. Watch this. Look at that. I'm a natural. Get, in, get yourself in there. Look at the access in there. So they're thinking about the engineer, and then if you look up, you can load in your billets. I can't remember but what the weight of the billet will take, but it's a huge, huge amount, so crane in. So they are actually thinking about the engineer, not just about the end component. And the next one coming out, this is the G9, G10, will have an automatic pallet changer. So we've done some big vertical turning centers, some big mills, some five axis machining, but we haven't done a fixed head one yet, so look at this. There you go, look at that for a tool change, ready? Perfection. But twin spindle, 42 mil bar, I'll have to, you have to work this, come back here, Joe, come on, he's, he's getting it all wrong, isn't he? 42 mil bar, you can have coming through there, or in the chucks, five inch, four inch, so some big, big components. B axis, hopefully it's gonna turn. It's moving forward, there you go. So five axis machining, so complex parts running 24 seven. As you can see, it's getting super busy in here. So what we're gonna do is head across town to another hall, but can you guess where it is?
We've rushed across town. We are next to the 101 Tower, one of the tallest towers in the world. But this is another hall for Tim Toss, absolutely huge. This is focusing on your laser cutting, your bending. A little bit of forklift action going on here because we're with the guys, well, at tail lift, they have a whole portfolio of machines, presses, punches, forklifts, but laser cutters, great example of what they're doing here. So a nice example, 40 mil depth of the cut on that. I call it depth of the cut if that's the right word. But this is used in the sort of marine industry, real heavy duty. Little clue there, 20 kilowatt. These guys will go up to 40 kilowatts, so huge, huge machines, but nice and simple. There's Jeff who we interviewed earlier. I hope it wasn't too traumatic for him, but very simple to use. The guy's programming it here. So that is an example of laser cutters. Moving on here, you've got Soko. You can see in the background one of their loaders there, but what we like here is a good bender. So hopefully the guys will get this running. So I'll give them a quick shout. I don't want to be too rude, but I can do that. Should we get this running? Look at that, how's that? All in the timing. So we've got loader in the background, over to the robot arm, as you would expect. Come on now, I'm gonna have to stand the speed up. There we go, and that, look at that, it worked perfectly. And there, like poetry in motion. And then into the bender. Now, think about this, into the collet, bending, this will bend left and right. Different thicknesses, different lengths, all industry 4.0, everything you want essentially. We interviewed Carl Lola, everything you want in a pipe bending machine. Carl, it's a swarf of chip show, so it's very quick. But you need to get that action though, Joe, I think. Joe being my cameraman, working hard, we like to work the cameraman hard. Right, come on in, let's go. Next one is a tube laser cutter. So, as you see, it's a bit busy, so it's a show. I might have to. Whoa, you saw that. Cheeky monkey, never mind. Anyway, tube cutters, it's all about your automation. So we interviewed Mark earlier. I hope I can remember his name because we meet so many people at the show. It's absolutely brilliant. So load it up. This end, it's all about automation. Joe, get your noggin in there. I don't think it's actually working at the moment. We've got some fo footage of it actually working though. But this will take 2.2 meters. I might be wrong in that one, probably am. But in there, cutting two kilowatt laser. Let's look at the profiles they're actually cutting. So, round as it as you expect, rectangular, rectangular, square. Now we're not talking about Joe's wardrobe, we're talking about the profile there. That was a little bit harsh on Joe because he's a cameraman, making me look good. But the key thing about this is six mil, it, well I say depth of cut, six mil thickness, but these guys will do up to 220 mil diameter on the round and 150 on the square. So some big, big components being cut on these machines. So that's a little bit of lasering, pipe bending, whatever it may be back to the other exhibition hall. So it's not just about machining, it's about other components as well. So here you've got a machine tool changer, super fast and super efficient, lightweight. So these casings are made of aluminium, so then it only needs a lightweight motor, so super efficient and cheap to run, they're thinking of the environment. And then over here we've got the rob robotic, if I can say that properly, material magazine. You know how I know that? Because it says it on the side, but as it's a live show, there's customers here so we won't barge them out of the way. This is taking a billet of 250 kilos, and you know how I know that? says it on the side, I tell you what, not part, a lot gets past me. This will take up to 550. It's a small footprint, so you can see the telescopic arm just working there. He says, look at that, poetry in motion. Small footprint, you can change the size of those it's for different size billets. So that's just keeping your machine tool super efficient in terms of power consumption and loading the billets, making it run 24-7. I did have a little pop at Joe in his fashion sense. I like to think I'm the top one of MTZ. And it's also practical because we've done a lot of walking. So look at these bad boys. As you probably guessed, we've done loads of walking. Lucky I have got the, these bad boys on. So, but back to the machine, more important. So this is Machila, and they wanted to mention it has won the Supreme Excellence Award. So great, great machine. This is three axis. No, it's not, because hopefully in a second you'll see the fourth axis where it's actually turning. And I'm going to shout over in the corner. How many RPM, Andy? 2,500. And thanks for that, Andy. All in timing, 2,500 RPM, and it's not doing it right now, which is perfect. All right. And we've all suffered from a bit of droop before. Not with this. Roller guide up here, keeping that travelling column super rigid, so you can hit those tough, tough materials. Not a problem. Complex and tricky materials, all on this machine. Three plus one. Or three plus one? No. Four-axis machine, really. X, Y, Z, and the C. 
There you go, Swarm of Chips this week from Tim Toss 2023 in Taiwan. I'm exhausted, I'm doing my catalogue post. Hope you've enjoyed the show and we'll see you next week. You may know it's throughout the show, wax on, or wax off, lanyard on, lanyard off, but what did the count come to the times I removed it? <laughs>